thousand meters. Stada hits the lever and they're racing away. Popular Blues miss Tiger Eyes, couple of lengths off them early on. Judstone with the red blinkers, Ping the Machine is the early leader. Pink Silks of Storm Coast is right there. Wimmerwe is on the right hand side. Yellow and Black Silks moving up third. Le Forti's in the green along the inside rail. Lily's Rush in the blue between them. Chase the Cherries three around Isuiti. Fashionable Philly in the blue silks to the inside. Mamzelle had to be taken up off heels there. Popular Blues is around them, red sleeves and cap. And Miss Tiger Eyes amongst the back rank. They're racing about seven lengths off the leader. The Pink Silks of Storm Coast and Ian Sturgeon find the lead by three parts of a length. Wimmerwares raced up into second, closest to the camera. Judstone's at the rail. Then comes Chase the Cherry. Lily's Rush is only three lengths off them. Le Forti is sweetie. Popular Blues racing wider out on the turf. Then comes Fashionable Philly. They're just inching along at the 1,000 meter marker. Miss Tiger Eyes, six lengths to trace down. And Mumsel's the trailer. Moving into the 800 meter zone and Storm Coast sets the scene by a half a length. Wimmerwares alert in second, Judstone to the inside. Chase the Cherry looks to get a little bit closer. Lily's Rush, Le Forti is sweetie. They're racing four lengths off them. They're going to be very tight as they turn for home. Fashionable Phillies on the inside. Miss Tiger Eyes, a wall of horses in front of her. Green sleeves and caps, six to make up, is sweetie. Homeward bound, Storm Coast. Wimmerwear is quick to challenge on the outside. And look at Lily's Rush making a move between them. Lily's Rush, Storm Coast. E Sweetie's trying to get going. Popular Blues, Miss Tiger Eyes. Lily's Rush, Storm Coast on the outside. E Sweetie gets into the race very late. But Lily's Rush picked up the gallop 100 ago. And Lily's Rush, Alcha, not for the catching. Second position, close. Maybe he's sweet in a photo with Storm Coast, Miss Tiger Eyes, and then Mamzelle. This is a rider to keep a close eye on. Callan Murray, he's up and coming. He studies his form. He does the homework. And he's just registered the victory on the daughter of modern day. Lily's Rush, well done to the Des Egder's stable. The stable certainly turned the corner and worth following their horses in the next couple of meetings. And you always get decent odds about Des Edges' as runners. And this daughter of modern day, she's put those last two performances behind her. Is Sweetie looks to put her nose down for second. Storm Coast, Miss Tiger Eyes from off the speed. Then came Mumsel, Wimmerware, Popular Blues, Le Forti. Lily's Rush, she just caught the eye with 300 to go. She came bursting through in those royal blue and silver colors. Storm Coast on the outside. E Sweetie tries to close in late, but Lily's Rush, this is the runner who's going to get to the number one box. And this is for Messrs. E12, Graham, Edges and Pile, bred by the Out of Africa Stud, a 10,000 Rand buy, Lily's Rush to the winner's enclosure. Back to the studio. Lily's Rush has given trainer Des Egders a double on the card today. And well done to all the owners here. Callan Murray only claiming two and a half kgs. This is his first winner after losing his claim four. And if you included the source in your pick six and jackpot, well done to you. Des, the, the floor is yours. I mean, I'm a surprise winner. Des, they, you know, they're fillies that we always thought would pick up another one, maybe two at the end of the day. But I think handicapping played a big part here. No stars, but this is the way. You know, with these average horses, if you can win a race, place here and there, that's what it's about. Inexpensive filly, paid her way, paying her way. People are happy, we happy. Great ride from Callum. Did exactly what we wanted. Blinkers came off today. Over the ground and the distance suited to her pedigree. Run her over shorter ground for the simple reason we haven't had staying races for these sort of fillies. And I'm, you know, I'm hoping that they put on more staying races for these sort of fillies because a lot of them get 
beyond a mile and you know they're just not going to act on this sort of surface over a mile or shorter type of thing and it just shows her form is exactly that back into the distance that she's bred for got her into the race luckily and that was it and uh, very happy I'm glad that you mentioned placing your horses in the correct places, yeah. finding the races for them, monitoring their merit ratings, and obviously getting a claim which helps. Because so full marks for you for finding this race. Yeah, well, absolutely. These, I mean, there's only a few of these that come about, you know, once in a while, and uh, just luckily, you know, we managed to get them in. And uh, yeah, the claim was uh, was the key. I think had we have run with normal sort of level weight, I think she would they would have battled both of them. I mean, the three of them. Although the others didn't run too badly, but. Uh, you know, on the day it was about which one would get the lucky run on at, at the right time. Strings looking good? Yeah, coming on nice, thanks. Big thanks to all the owners involved, Sue, Margot, Jürgen. You know, all very happy they've stuck by this filly. And I think she could win another one, right field, over ground. Hopefully we can get them over a little bit further. Things looking bright at Burton. Yes, very nice. All going good. Well done. Yes, Sue. Lovely. Let Sue come in before we chat to Callan. Well done to you, Sue. You, you've been patient with this, with this horse? Yes, no, she's a good filly. She just hasn't had much chance. But uh, thanks to Callum, who had a brilliant race. And thanks so much to Des for being so patient with her. <laughs> Talking about yourself and the owners, you know, she's taken a bit of time. But uh, just 14 runs for two wins, you, you'll take that. Oh, that's, that's good. That's good enough for me. Well, congratulations <laughs> to yourself so and your, 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 all your other uh, partners in, the, in this filly. I couldn't be here. Well done. No, thank you so much. Thanks. Lovely. Nice, nice chatting to Sue. Now, let's get Callum Murray in. And uh, firstly, I want to uh, congratulate uh, Callan on having his 20th winner with a double the other day at Gravel, losing your 4 kg claim. Well done with that. That's the first hurdle as an apprentice. Yes, you know, it's, it's great to be getting the opportunities I am and riding the winners I am. Now, when you lose your claim for, they say it gets tougher, just two and a half. So nice to get one under the belt early. Yes, it's nice to have this one as soon as possible, uh, you know, uh, out of my claim for. Coming back to the race, how things worked out for you? You know, um, I got a nice, uh, nice position and she was very settled. Coming into the straight, the gap opened, I sent her and sh she quickened away from them. Well, on paper, it looked to be a, an open race. Yes, you know, um, a few of these horses that dropped in merit rating, dropped in weight and they had, had the draw, just like this filly and I think that's how she pulled through. Well, it's all about confidence and you seem to be riding full of confidence these days. Uh, in the last two races, you, you got anything? Yes, I got one more. I've got Muta D. He's obviously a very nice horse. Um, he's drawn wide with 61, but um, we'll look to have him running on and finish. Hard uh, and difficult for you boys and uh, the guys don't know that you have to juggle race riding with your exams and everything and it's uh, nearly exam time now. Yes, it's coming up soon, but um, I've had the opportunity. I'm traveling tomorrow, racing Friday, so I'm catching up on the racing. <laughs> Well, all the best, Callan. Keep up the good work, and I wish you all the best now only claiming two and a half. Perfect. Uh, thank you very much, sir. And also a big thanks to Mr. Egdes and to all the owners involved in the source. I really appreciate it. Well done. Thank you very much. Lovely. Callan Marie there on an outsider in race number seven. This filly, or mare, should I say, is going to drop a lot of tickets in the exotic center. I'm sure many tickets will also fall here in the place accumulator. Eight, nine, one, and three, your provisional result. Eight, nine, one, and four, I'm told. Four storm coasts as a finish back in fourth. So it's eight, nine, four, and three. Let's get it right. Eight, nine, four, and three. That is why Zane is the best cameraman on course. Eight, nine, four, and three.